Hi, and welcome back to Rise of the Rovers. Today, we've got our five years in the future. It will be very interesting to see how the club has progressed. Has it? I don't know. I've not even looked myself yet. Five years on from when we've done that magical double. Double, the double. Unbelievable double. Premier League champions and Champions League champions that game against Juventus, what a game it was. What a run we had to the final. If you've not already seen those games, please do feel free to go back and watch them because they were unbelievable. But today it's all about that five years in the future and how they've progressed. Yeah, like I said, have they? I really don't know yet. The main thing we need you to do next though, please, is like subscribe get notified of future uploads and comments down below please it helps the algorithm out massively and you guys can help me let's get this channel growing even more we're nearly as this video is being made at 1400 subscribers absolutely thank you massive thank you now let's get on with this five years in the future Yes, let's have a look, shall we? So, it is now the 1st of June, 2034. And I can see over here it says, Manchester City celebrate a double. Liverpool celebrate a double. So I'll be interested to see what's going on there. But let's first of all go and have a look at what Blackburn have been doing. So here are Blackburn Rovers, who finished second in the latest season. Xavi Alonso is current manager. Oliveira is captain. Makoko is still here as well as vice captain. Schroes is key player. And Jake Davies, some unknown regen. What is interesting... We can see our latest starting 11 for the last game they played, which was the Champions League final against Manchester City. What well, they lost 1-0. So they've been challenging. So that's great news. Uh, so let's go through the squad, first of all. Let's see who's here and who's not. So we'll put it into position-wise. Um... Markham is still here. He's injured. Rob Kelly is still here. That was the youngster we bought from Manchester City. No, from Chelsea, sorry. Only Simon. Did we buy him? He looks familiar. No. He come from Liverpool. That's why he was playing for Liverpool. 43 million. We got him on a free transfer from Liverpool. Played eight games this season. So he wasn't the first choice goalkeeper. And Roberto Sanchez, who is the current Brighton, I do believe. Yes, in real life he is at Brighton. That's correct. Now, so I would say Tom Markham is still the goalkeeper. Reputation three stars. Hundred, £115 million pounds worth. Unbelievable. 57 caps for Ireland. Is that all? Not a great deal. And he's not the number one either. Simon's got the number one shirt. So they've changed that all around a little bit. Going through. Charisma's still here at the age of 32. Oliveira. Brantthwaite. Stettin. Uh, Lad Gill, he's not with us. Frank Kessie's still here at the age of 37. Wendling, 24, he's still here. Michael Batch. Now, this is a lab we brought in for £1.2 million. And he is at the club still now, rated at £17.5 million, but he is, he is transfer listed. But he's turned out to be quite a good player by the look of it. So I'm happy there. Um, who else we got? Batch. Makoko. Yes, he's still here. What's he actually looking like at the age of 29? Not as quick as he used to be. He's definitely dropped off and he's requesting to leave. Oh my goodness, he's requesting to leave the club. That's not very good. Again, another one. 17 on his squad number now. 
Eric Opaiki, and I recognise that name as well. He was at Arsenal when we left. Yes, another one. It was quite good. Dave Schroes, look. What's Dave looking like? Absolutely awesome. Valued at 111 to 333 million pounds. World class midfielder. Absolutely unbelievable. The boy is just crazy. Dave Schroes. They call him Dave and they give him the number eight shirt now. Look. Shola Schultire. Alvaro Canes and Ruby Santos is still here as well. So that's quite good news. He's turned out to be quite a good player as well. He's got the number nine shirt. But what makes me think, let's just check the reserves, because there's quite a lot of players here who are missing. So that's quite interesting. Let's have a look at the history first of all. Landmarks. Anything we can see in the competition highlights. There we go. So, we won that Premier League in 32. No, was it 2? 29, sorry. And they've not won it since. They've been runners-up once since. So that was that season just gone. They were also runners-up, well, third place the season before. Champions League winners in 32 so two years ago they won the Champions League and they've been runners up twice in that last five years so one win and two runners up in the last five years unbelievable they've also won the Europa League again because we won that in 26 they've won it in 31 so again that was another season they won that the Super Cup they won that as well that twice that's excellent. Runners up twice as well. FA Cup? No. Still no FA Cup winners since. One runners up last year. Carabao Cup? Yes, they won that two years ago and runners up last year. Charity Shield? Only that one where we runners up when we two years on the trot. Premier League 2, they won that as well. So not a lot going on there for winners, right? So a Champions League, so not too bad. So as we can see here now, two Champions Leagues, four Premier League, two Europa Leagues. Yes, not a great deal. Media prediction was first and he actually finished second. So that is quite, quite good. So still reputation to be one of the best clubs. But as we can see, a third place after that season we won. So one, two, three. So is that right? First place, one, two, three. So that's four. So the season not finished? I'm sure it's five years on. So we've actually got... That's four years, actually. So we've got four years in the history so far. We've got one more season to go. My mistake. That's all right. That's not too bad. At least we can run on one more season and see what happens. But there is a lot of changes here. Transfers. Transfer history. I think we'll keep this as a four years in the future now instead. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Players out. £85 million worth. Nobody I know. Nobody I know. Tom Beale went to Reading for eight million quid. Is that it? Waldron to six. Marcelo, not one of mine either. Christian Smara went to PSG for £25 million. And what a player he is. What a player he is. But only rated as a fullback. Only 16 caps as well for a 23 year old. That's a bit crazy. Season back. Again, you know, 56 million. But so Bentaker, Kate, he's come in at some stage. Let's go. Let's go back to the season at the start because that's where we need to be. So this is the season we just did. Connor Gillespie, did we bring him in? No, he's not one of mine. Not what I recognise. 
So it must have came in at the end. Yeah, he came in at the end. It always winds me up, that thing. So, Benteke, Kayaka, Christensen. But it's the outs we're more interested in. And there's a big one here somewhere. Inacio went to PSG for £27.5 million. Antonio Jose to Borussia Dortmund for £25 million. So that's pretty much there. And Olaf Down went to Mainz for £7 million. That's quite a few transfers there already in that first season. Second season, again, not really. How £113 million spent on... Jose Antonio Alvarez. Oof, he is a bit good, isn't he? Goodness me, Spanish international. But out, £322 million. What the hell's gone on here? Um, Jonathan Pineda went to Man City for £174 million. Oh my God. Look at the state of Jonathan Pineda. Now, if I was you, boys and girls, I would not be selling him. I'd be building your team around him if you're doing your carry-on from this stage. Who else went then? Gary Pallia for £31 million. Christensen gone back out again. I'd never get these transfers like that. Venezuela went to Roma for 5.75. Sasa Kadnip, Kadnovic went to Chelsea. Was that for £76 million? £76 million. Pfft. The decisive centre back. He's an absolute beast. Absolute beast. What a player he is as well. Mad. And I did see at the bottom there. <sighs> Zonarek. He's gone as well. Went to Liverpool for £37.5 million. Crazy craziness. So they really have been ripping this team apart. We'll have a look who's been in charge in a minute as well, just to see what's been going on. Alfie Ramsdale. So £95 million this time has gone out the door. Ballard's gone to Milan for £32 million. Trafford, £12 million. I'm not sure who he is, youngster. Umaroff, Real Madrid for £14 million. Kudnick, £20 million there. Ronald, gone to Celta for £19 million. And they've spent £176 million. A load more money gone out this time. Who's the big one? Eric. Eric Opakia. Hundred and twenty one million pounds, and then this season just gone here. So, this has got Waldron Luca Lorenzo Luca gone to Inter for 32 million pounds. So, Bentica and everyone gone out. So, again, players that have come in and gone out again 82 million this time. Shola Shortire. £67 million. Pounds. He's not even got an England cap. What are they doing? What are this lot doing? So that is five seasons. That is five seasons. What am I talking about? It's five transfer windows, five gone through. Who has been in charge? Managers. So after me... Andre Villas Boas came in. He's won nothing. He was there for one and a half seasons. Uh, 27 days. Caretaker manager Paul McHay. And then Xavi Alonso's come in at, after that one season from Andre Villas Boas. He's had three and a half years and won five cups, no leagues. So he's done pretty well. So not too bad. Not too bad there at all. But overall, you know, 
Media prediction of first. Five years on down the line, they're still predicted to be media prediction first. Boom. Absolutely amazing. Truly, truly amazing, that is. I'm, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving this. One thing was asked to me, what's happened with the national teams? Okay, history. So we want to go to the World Cup and competitions and stuff, don't we? Let me just find that a second. Okay, so here we are for the World Cup, which is in holders. Hello? History pass winners. Here we go. So since we started the game, England won it in 2022 against Croatia. Wow. 2026, France, Portugal, England runners up in this one. So England win it as hosts in 2030 against the Netherlands. Absolutely amazing. Now let's have a look at the Euro Championships. So Euro Championships 2024, France win it, Greece are runners up, wow, Portugal and Germany runners up, Germany win it in 32 and Italy runners up. So England nowhere near it in this lot, but in these seasons you can see everyone... It was all the sort of usual ones. Everyone was playing in and around those competitions. It's the usual usuals. Let's have a look at the history of the Champions League as well, shall we? Let's have a quick look. Past winners. So, as we can see, as the seasons were going on, so Chelsea, that's the original one. Manchester United got to the final and beat Liverpool. Liverpool went on then to dominate it. One, two, three, four seasons on the bounce. Liverpool winning. Leipzig come in in 2026-27. Milan. Manchester United runners up there. That's the Blackburn win. That was the most important one against Juventus. Blackburn then runners up next year after that. Dortmund beats Bayern in the final of that one. Blackburn win it again, this time against PSG. Leipzig win it against Juventus in the final this time. And Manchester City in the current season win it against Blackburn again. So, crazy craziness going on there. And overall, let's have a look at that Premier League as well, shall we? To finish on, pass winners, who actually has been dominating it all these seasons? So, Manchester City, Liverpool, Manchester City, Liverpool, Arsenal coming back on the scene. Liverpool, Blackburn, Liverpool, Manchester City, Liverpool, Manchester City. And then Chelsea to crown off the final one there to win the Premier League for the first time in many years. A couple of runners-ups there for them. But it's literally, look at Liverpool. Liverpool... I'm, I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to see it. It's my team. I support Liverpool, as you guys probably know already. And it's great to see that Liverpool are still right up among it. Manchester United, not so much. That's great to see. Great to see. But I think that's where we'll wrap it up, boys and girls. Thank you very much for watching Blackburn Rovers. It's been an absolute blast. I've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully you will enjoy the next chapter in the Preset channel. We have obviously been doing the skin clinic, but starting very soon will be the next chapter. And I'm sure you're going to like it. We'll catch you soon. Please do. See you soon.